Welcome back. That is just a beautiful shot of the cities, isn't it? Well, summer is just around the corner and that means plenty of late nights and maybe some wines. So we thought we'd bring in Terry Hummel with Gianni's to show us what kind of wines we might want to try this summer. Thank you so much You're for welcome. coming in. This Thank is you. perfect timing because we're all thinking that it's festivities season. Absolutely. So let's start with what you have here. Well, as it, the reason we brought rosé today is yeah. because tomorrow is National Rosé Day. Ah. So, um, and by the way, the best time to ever have a glass of rosé is 5.15 in the evening. Why is this? It's 4.17, but I might just have to rush it a little bit. Why I think we're going to do that. <laughs> um, it's the end of your work day and the beginning of your evening. So I everybody like said 5.15 is the perfect time of day to have your first glass of rosé. I love that. Okay. So this is uh, Yes Way Rosé, and this is from Provence, France. Okay. And as it turns out, there are two women uh, winemakers that created this wine. So it's just really lovely, light. This Thank is you. something you can drink on the patio. Oh, We're showing it. it paired with um, popcorn. This is our oh, chef idea. put an extra little something on there. He shaved some summer um, black truffles on the popcorn. Mm. So it's really good. Now I have to ask, a friend of mine actually just recently gave me this bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. Is, are they Americans? Are they Americans? Yes. The women? Okay, so that's the reason for the right. very clever title. Target is okay. carrying this and they also comes in a, um, a sparkling as well. Okay, I but love But this that. is really nice, light. You can drink it at the pool or on mm -hmm. the boat or if you're having just watching TV with popcorn. Yeah, it's and perfect. why one chef? Okay, <laughs> so this is all summer food that you would like. Again, what are we looking Correct. at here? Now this is a Champs de Provence. This also is um, from France. By the way, Provence is the most popular location for making wine okay. for the rosés. Every winemaking region in the whole world makes rosé. And what makes rosé the color that it is, it's mm -hmm. not that they're using a pink grape. They're letting the red grapes sit in the juice for anywhere from a couple of hours to a couple of weeks. Interesting. And the longer the um, skin sits in the um, uh, with the juice, uh -huh. it makes it hardier. And so it gets that deeper red color. Huh. So, but this a little is, wine lesson here, that's perfect. Yep. So, so if we don't go to Provence, we can also go to Gianni's though. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> As a matter of fact, tomorrow um, at Gianni's, we're having a rosé tasting. All of the wines you see here today will be tasting. Wow. And uh, we'll have about 15 wines that we're going to be tasting. So two to four, it's on the patio. Love it. Uh, Twenty dollars, and we'll get to have a bunch of fun wines. That's perfect. And the other wines that we had here, what do we mm -hmm. have here? Okay, now this one is um, this is from the Central Coast region of Santa Ynez in California. Mm -hmm. They make it in a very traditional Pro Provence style. Okay. But it's perfect for barbecue or salmon, so that's what we've okay. got this paired with. Good to know. Yep. Thank you. And the last one over here. Oops, I'm sorry. Oh, no, and no. This, and this one, um, I call this my breakfast wine. <laughs> wink, Should wink, one wink, want wink. it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but this is a great wine. Um, I love to have it with brunch. And oh this is a, a wine from the Willamette Valley, and it's a Pinot Noir based um, champagne. Delicious. Or um, sparkling. But it really is. I mean, we sell a lot of this at the restaurant, and it's great. It's got a little depth to it, uh -huh. more berries. So it's, it's got a wonderful, wonderful flavor. Well, but, Terry, this is perfect. I feel like you've started our weekend on the absolute right note. <laughs> Thank you. And it can continue, in fact, because, again, that event is tomorrow. And we have more information, of course, on our website, care11.com.